friends, it is I, Game Girl. Oh. oh, man, okay, I have been fighting off these balloons all day, but I am a superhero, ah! Okay, it's fine, guys, I got this. I've got superpowers, oh my goodness. Okay, ah, no, ah, there's too many of them. There's too many, ah, no, ah! I need to keep practicing. But, you know, practice makes perfect. Today, we're gonna be discovering one of our superpowers. Maybe it'll be super strength or super speed. Whatever it is, I know that it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to discover this superpower with you all. So, let's get started with a super game. This game is called Emoji Challenge. Here's how you play. When I say go, you'll see different hand emojis on the screen. All you have to do is make your hand match what you see on the screen. Let's do a practice round. I'll do it with you this time. Whatever shows up on the screen, you gotta match it. Ready? Practice round, get ready, set, go. You got it. Okay, get those hands ready. This one is all you. Here we go with round one in three, Two, one, go! Did you get them all? Okay, I think you're ready for round two. This one is gonna be a little faster. You gotta get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! You guys are getting good at this. Let's try another round. This round is going to have face emojis too. So get ready. Three, two, one, go! Great job. I think you're ready for pro level. This is our super bonus round. This is going to be crazy fast, so shake out those hands, stretch those faces, get them loose. Okay, ready? Here we go, in three, two, one, go! Super job, give me a high five. Let's take a look at our memory verse. Hey everyone, God's word is so powerful. Our memory verse is found in Ephesians 6.10. It says, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Let's all say that together. Repeat after me. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Great job. Let's say it one more time in slow mo. Oh, that'll take too long. Slow motion. Ready? One, two, three. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10. Awesome job, you guys were so slow. That was amazing, I'll see you guys later. You guys did awesome. Okay, now my superhero friends, go ahead and stand up on your feet. Let's declare God's word over our lives because God's word is powerful. Show me your super muscles. Oh yeah, that was great. I think you're ready. Let's declare this super loud. Here we go in one, two, three, four. to declare God's word over our lives. Now, stay standing with me. Let's get ready for worship.
go to the newsroom and see how kids around the world have been using their superpowers. Good day to you, and welcome to this week's edition of Kids Super Good News, where once again every week we're going to be taking the opportunity to look at the ways that you have been using your newfound superpowers to influence and uplift those around you. Today we're going to take a special look at the newfound superpower of serving. But before we get to the main story, we're going to take a look at the weather. We're going to hand it over to Megan Merriweather, who I believe has something special planned for us this week. Megan? Hello, friends. I am here to give you a fun weather demonstration on how to have fun in any weather circumstance. And today I want to talk about how I have fun in the windy weather, and I like to fly a cat. Today I'm going to give you a nice demonstration. a little bit more wind than you were planning on from the looks of it, but great job flying that kite. Next, we're going to get into one of my favorite segments. We're going to go out onto the farm with Maggie McDonald. I don't really know what she has for us today, but I can tell you that it's going to be fun. Maggie? Hi, Matt. It's Maggie McDonald, and today we're going to talk to you some chicken. Oh. <laughs> He's a big one. Careful, Maggie. That chicken doesn't know what you're saying, just like we do. Um, Maggie, are you Maggie, are you are you barking? Maggie? I think you're barking. Well, Matt, that's chicken. Okay. <laughs> that is an interesting sound for what a chicken would make. But thank you for that, Maggie. And now, let's get to the main story, you kids. This is Israel, Alexia, Alicia, and Elena. And here we also have Kate. They're using their superpowers of words and serving by making cards for their local hospital staff. Next, we have Wonder Woman, all the way from Ireland, dressed in her superhero suit and watching the service. Here are Kezia and Maggie using their superpowers of service to help clean up around the house. And finally, we have Sebastian using his superpower of serving to make his mom breakfast. Okay, other kids, today um, my superpower is serving, so I'm gonna, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna make breakfast for my mom. So I'm cracking two eggs. Wait, let me see if I can do it. And one. And I'm cracking two eggs. Um, so that's how, so that was amazing, yeah, my kids. Well done, Sebastian. Cracking eggs is no easy task. And remember, kids, make sure you have your parents' permission before using the stove. Well, that's all for today. Remember to continue to use your newfound superpowers of words, obedience, and serving throughout the week. Until next time, so long. Hey everyone, I'm super glad that you guys joined us for church today. Have you guys seen my friend Super Dave? He said he was gonna be here, but you know, maybe he's not. Oh, I know what it is. He says I have to sing the theme song for him to come. Super Dave, Super Dave, no one's but oh hey Super oh. With heart. With heart, but Super Dave, Super Dave, no one's better than Super Dave. Hey everyone! Wow! Oh, you scared me. Okay. What's up, Super Dave? You scared me again! I just heard you were talking about superpowers, so I wanted to come by and help. I've been practicing my superpower of flying. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. You can fly? Oh yeah, flying is easy. Only a 
landing, well, that's for next week. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll get it. <laughs> but you're right about one thing. We're learning about a superpower that we all have today. Oh, oh, I can help. Which superpower are we talking about today? Super speed? No, it's actually- Laser eyes. Those are great for making popcorn. Yum. Wait, no, no, that, that's not what I, I was thinking. Boo-boo kissing powers? Boo-boo kissing powers. What is that? Oh, it's a very, very important superpower. My mom has it. Every time I get hurt when I crash land, my mom kisses my boo-boo and it's instantly healed. Do any of your family members have that superpower? Well, uh, that is a good superpower. I like that one, but it's not the one we're talking about today. Do you guys have any guesses? What do you think our superpower today is going to be? All right, well, let's see if you're right. Drum roll, please. I said drum roll, please. Oh, kids, help me give a drum roll. Well, okay, 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 thank you, Super Dave, that was awesome. And today, we're talking about the superpower of prayer. Whoa, prayer is a superpower? It is. It's one of the most powerful superpowers ever, too. So powerful that it kept the guy from being eaten by lions. Lions? Who? Was it you? No, that wasn't me. That was it. Was it them? Are you guys okay? Stay calm. Animal control is on the way. Whoa, Super Dave, calm down. Calm down, Mr. Rob. Okay, we're calm. It's not them, it's not us. It was a guy named Daniel from the Bible. Oh, kids, you're safe for now. You're welcome. Let's check out the story of Daniel and see how he used the superpower of prayer. Now, at that time, the story takes place, Daniel was one of the king's officials. Daniel had gained favor with the king, and he was one of the king's top leaders. Wow, so he was a really important guy. Yep, so much that the king was planning on putting Daniel in charge of the whole kingdom. Whoa, that's a big deal. Kids, can you imagine being put in charge of the whole kingdom? You could pass rules that says everyone has to have dessert before dinner. And no more Brussels sprouts ever! Dessert before dinner? I I'm, I'm not sure that... My kingdom, my rules, dessert for all. Let them eat cake! Okay, anyway, wow, okay, Super Dave. Let's continue with the story. So Daniel was a good man, trustworthy, and always did the right thing. But the other leaders were jealous of Daniel and the favor that he had from the king. So they came up with the plan to get rid of Daniel. What? Not cool. No dessert for them. Yeah, definitely not cool. You see, they knew that Daniel did something every single day, and every day he would pray three times to God. Oh, 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 that's the superpower we're talking about today, the superpower prayer. Daniel used that too? Yeah, yeah, he did. He took that time to talk to God every day. So the other leaders convinced the king to pass a law saying that everyone should pray to the king, and if they didn't pray to the king and they prayed to God, they would be thrown into the lion's den. <gasps> so what happened next? Did Daniel have to stop praying? Not exactly. Daniel found out that the king passed the law, but he still got down on his knees and prayed to God. Wow, Daniel was so brave. Yeah, he really, really was. Now the leader who tricked the king into passing the law found Daniel praying, and it was ordered that Daniel should be thrown into the lion's den. What? I don't get it. What about the king? I thought he liked Daniel. Couldn't he stop it? Well, see, he tried, but the law was already passed. The king was sad, but there was nothing he could do. So that evening, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. <gasps> what? They actually threw him in? I can't stand it. What happened? Well, the Bible tells us exactly what happened the next morning. In Daniel chapter six, the king got up and he ran to the lion's den. <gasps> Okay, and he called out to Daniel in a panic. Daniel, did your God save you from the lions? Tell me now, I can't stand it. Daniel, are you okay? Daniel responded, hey, your majesty, God sent his angels to shut the mouths of the lions. They haven't hurt me at all. Woo, oh, I feel so much better now. That's so cool. God sent his angel to shut the mouth of the lions so they couldn't eat Daniel. Ha, not today, lions, not today. No Daniel snack for you. You know, Mr. Rob, I want to be able to use my superpower of prayer like Daniel did too, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Well, Super Dave, prayer is simply just talking to God. It's telling him what's in your heart and your thoughts. 
It's actually like a conversation and God has promised to always hear us and to respond to us. He wants to talk to us. Prayer is powerful and is really awesome. It's an amazing superpower that we all have. Wow, I think I'm gonna use my superpower prayer right now. There's so many things I wanna talk to God about. I'll see you later, Mr. Rob. Bye, Super Dave. I'm sure that God's excited to talk to you too. You know what, guys? I have an idea that will show us just how powerful prayer can be. Let's go to the science lab. So what happens when we pray? Well, I've got this beaker right here and this is gonna represent God. Everyone say God. Awesome, and this balloon right here is gonna represent us. Say us. Good, you got it, okay. Now this baking soda is going to represent things that we go through in our lives that we kind of carry around with us. Maybe our parents are not getting along. Or maybe we're scared because someone that we love is, is sick right now. Maybe we're not getting along with our brothers or sisters, or it could be anything that you're having a hard time with. Eventually, you're getting full of all these problems. And carrying all this around can really weigh us down. Can this balloon float or do anything with all the stuff inside of us? No, it can't. It's the same thing with us. When we have all these things that we're carrying on our own, it weighs us down. It makes us weak. But you wanna know something really awesome? This is why God gives us the superpower of prayer. We can take all of these things, all these problems, all these things that are weighing us down, and we can pray, okay? So I'm gonna give all these problems and things to God. So when we hand everything over to God, when I pray and say, dear God, I'm just really worried about my friend. God, I'm worried about getting sick. I'm worried about all these problems that I'm having. God, I just don't know what to do. When we give all these things to God, He in turn fills us with His strength. Our superpower of prayer is so awesome. And guys, you have the superpower of prayer too. God wants you to talk with him and he wants to respond to you. You can at any time, anywhere, God wants to talk to you. He will always meet you wherever you are. Prayer is simply talking to God. It's something that we can all do. Would you guys actually pray with me right now? Let's start using the superpower of prayer together right now. Would you just pray with me? Dear God, Thank you for today. Thank you that you've given me the superpower of prayer. Thank you that I can talk to you whenever and wherever I want. Help me to use my superpower of prayer every day, just like Daniel did. In Jesus' name, amen. It was so great getting to learn about the superpower of prayer with you. And guys, we have a challenge for you. We want you to get a piece of paper today and write down three or more things that you can pray for this week. You can even draw some fun pictures on it if you want. Keep that piece of paper by your bed so you remember to use your superpower of prayer every day. Take a pic of you and your prayer list and tag Gateway Kids on social media so we can join you in prayer too. If you'd like to connect with us, text CONNECT to 71010. We love you guys, have a super awesome week. Super Dave, Super Dave, no one's better than Super Dave. Super Dave, Super Dave, no one's better than Super Dave. I don't know, am I, am I center? Oh yeah, perfect, oh that's so much better. My head's in the way. I want you to curl your back in an unnatural form. I heard, sorry. Wee! He was flying! Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the first time. This is like a bad time, but I have to <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have to sing a scene. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Here we go. I've been practicing. And this superpower that. Well, I'm sure. Whoop. Well, I'm sure you'll get it. But right now, about one thing. Sorry. But you're right about one thing. We're learning today about a superpower. Why can't I read this? Well, I'm sure you'll get Well, I'm sure you'll get it. But right now, well, I'm sure you'll get it. Well, I'm sure you'll get it. Oh, oh, I can help. What's super five? Do any of your families have that super? <laughs> God.
eyes. That was awesome. That was animal control. We, somebody call animal control, please. Quick, hurry. Wait, oh, that is I'm you? I'm so sorry. Sorry, like, I'm looking at the dots, it. and I'm like. I just realized that there was gonna be a line. <laughs> that was funny. Right? It's not them either, it's a guy. Does it? <laughs> Burping. And the king, we're planning to put. Yep, so much. Yep, yes, he really was. Now, yes, he really was. Did the lion? Mm. Ha! No, not today, lion. <laughs> Your Majesty, God sent his angel to shut the mouths of the lions. They haven't hurt me at all. Would it. I need the puppet. Hold on, hold on. It's true. <laughs> Yell their returning to motherland. <laughs> Bye, Daniel. <laughs> Golly. Okay. Bye, Daniel. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the gulag. <laughs> now this big... So, can this balloon float or do anything? 